talking to me. All right. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bang, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bang, bang. Ooh, ee. What is up, everyone? So if I'm not my normal self today, um, for those of you who don't know, I had strep. I have strep, but I've been on antibiotics for 48 hours now. So <clears throat> this is the first day I've had that I haven't been unconscious for more hours than I've been awake. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Let me know if you can't. I'm gonna move the microphone over, actually. Um, yeah, so it's been, I haven't been this sick in years, man. It's been crazy. Um, but let me know if I'm not loud enough and, uh, hopefully I'm not annoying, like constantly stopping to swallow this garbage that's in my throat. Hey, thanks for filling this up so fast. Um, as much as I wanted to post <coughs> elite, um, pre-sale, um, I wanted to get this one done cause we did get one box of first off the line. We do have a couple cases of elite, um, hobby coming, but not as much as we had hoped to get. We just didn't get a lot allocated. So... I'm kind of on the fence if I want to do um, half cases the whole way through or one full case and then half cases. Because the fact is, it's not going to be like luminance. I don't have a ton of this stuff. So when it's out, it's probably out. Like, uh, I don't know that I'll reorder a ton of it. Um, there's a lot coming down the pike. Majestic was announced. Donruss was announced. Um, uh, Gold Standard, Elements. Um, there were a few other ones that were announced as well. Um, that are coming down pretty fast so you know once those start to roll out we'll, we'll hopefully start to get more of that kind of stuff but either way let me know what you guys think if we should do full case or um, just do half cases and the reason behind my half case thing is on PYT is that it's great when you get full case and you get your team but if someone sneaks ahead of you and say grabs a pats and you're like full case I want the pats let's do a full case and someone gets them then that's a lot that's only you know that's one full case that's gone and we only have like two more cases after that so just wanted to throw that out there, get your thoughts. Um, I'll put a poll up then a little bit later. But let's get this going, guys. I'm excited. We're going to save the 2019 Elite first off the line, obviously, for last. Um, all cards shipping this. 
A uh, bunch of shipping went out the other day, so you should be getting those packages today or tomorrow. Um, if you're waiting on something and you haven't gotten it yet, message me. Let me know you're missing it. Other than that, let's get ready to do this. Let's get ready to rumble! I'm going to start out with the score, get that out of the way. We'll probably kind of fly through the base in this. I do have some more luminance. Um, I do. I have a, a one sealed case and then a few straggler boxes from other cases. So I do still have some more luminance. I like to sit on a little bit of things like that so that we can do mixers down the road. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> the only thing I don't have any of, really, is Contenders Draft and Prism Draft. Um, I'm not able to get that anymore, really. I mean, Prism Draft has gone up quite a bit. And, I, and honestly, I don't think that it's worth the price that it's going for right now. So I can't make the mixer affordable the way I want to. Oh, we're going to go right to the auto, I guess. And Oh, and it's a nice one out of 35 for the Patriots. Tom said I was going to get excited. I'm trying not to raise my voice. <clears throat> Jarrett Stidham for the Patriots. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and boom goes the dynamite. Going out to uh, Frank. Heiko. Heiko Frank. That's a nice card. Nine, uh, six out of 35. Jarrett Stidham. That's the Artist Proof Auto. We haven't seen a ton of those come out of here. Nice card. There you go. Uh, Justice Hill, DeAndre Walker, A.J. Brown, Adderley, Tyree Jackson, Dixon. There's a Haskins and the Brosette. Dexter Lawrence and Williams. I'll just kind of flip through the base here. We've seen these quite a bit. We went through quite a bit of score. I'm assuming uh, Rack... Rakazar, Rakazor, is that you, um, Frank, Heiko? We got a Ryan Finley, a Drew Brees, and then a Sam Darnold. I mean, honestly, some of these inserts are cool cards and score. It's just, it's still score. Josh, I haven't decided yet. I was feeling good. So listen, this is how it works. My wife <coughs> let me rest yesterday. And the day before. There was nothing the day before. Yesterday she was getting irritated because I slept like 16, 18 hours. Daniel Jones. Um, and she's like, dude, you got to get up. And then she saw how sick I was. My fever was up to like 103, 5. It was bad, man. I couldn't move. I had the shakes real bad. Um, and uh, today she's like, all right. If you're good. It's like, I think she's like pretty much. If you're healthy enough to break, you can get up on the roof and paint the shutters on the second floor. So I, I was climbing around on a roof today painting shutters. Um, I couldn't really get out of it if I was going to break. 27 out of 50, Kelvin Harmon for the Cardinals. Um, but after I was out there for like an hour and a half in the heat, it kind of hit me again. So Saquon Barkley. So, I don't know, man. If I get a, a second burst of energy, what would you guys want to break tonight if I post something? I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I also want to do um, pre-sells. So, listen. Here's the thing, guys. We can um, we can absolutely break Elite really early in the morning um, or by noon. Um, I don't know what the ramifications are if I break it early. But... I'll be able to go to the UPS early in the morning and pick it up. So if we want to do like our first, that's kind of why I want to do half cases because we can kind of spread it out a little bit then. Or if we do full cases, I'm going to run out by the weekend. You know, I'm not going to have any on the weekend and I don't really want to run out. Antonio Brown and for the Chargers, Nazir Adderley. She does, man. She let me go yesterday. At one point, I was like, dude, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm dying. I felt like I was dying. But today's the first day without a fever. I broke my fever last night at like 4 a.m. I woke up soaked, soaked in sweat. <clears throat> my poor kids are like, what's wrong? They don't get it. They're like, come to bed. I'm like, oh, dude, Kyler Murray. So sorry, I'll stop talking about it. I just it's been crazy, man. It's it's been awful. This is um, my brother even said, man, this is like the first time you haven't broke not being on vacation since you started. It's like I know it's tough, man. It was hard. It's funny because I didn't even come in the break room on Sunday after I shipped. So it, so on Friday night when we broke, actually, I was I was starting to feel really sick. So I pounded two shots before I went live. 
I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to shake this off. Tom Brady, Aaron Donald, and Jameis Winston. I was like, I'll just shake this off. We'll be good. Um, and then that night, it hit me hard, man. So I woke up in the morning, and I had so much shipping and stuff to do. My dad came over. He could tell I wasn't up to it. But we fought through it, and then as soon as I got done shipping, I went over to Urgent Care, and they're like, right away, they were like, yeah, you're, you're swollen. Illuminance Personal, that's what you want. Message me. Oh, here's our uh, buyback. It's going to be a Raul Alegre. When you have your a leg in your name and you're a kicker, that's kind of badass. So I listened to a really cool podcast today on buy low, sell high, um, and then another one on rookie running backs. And it was interesting to hear the takes on rookie running backs. Um, and, and really what they were talking about more was geared towards um, oh, we got a plate. Oh, boy. I'm not taking a shot. I'm telling you that right now. Maybe I will. <laughs> Amani or Ar 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 Arie. I want to get to this. What up? Chicky, chicky, bok, bok, chicken heads. What up, Todd? We got a plate coming, Fletcher Cox. Aaron Jones. Um, I'll have to tell you about the podcast then as soon as we get through this plate. What up, Josh? Jordan Hicks for the Eagles. It's going to be a one of one Jordan Hicks plate. There we go, one of one. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, they're so nasty. There it is. Everybody! There we go. One on one going out our, to our man JT. He is an Eagles fan. That's cool. I'll take my shot. It's been a while. I can't I can't break bad luck. Hold on a second. Got me some Jameson whiskey. They say whiskey is good for the sickness, right? Cheers to Jonathan. Getting his Eagles 101. I know he'll like that card. Cheers, boys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah. Ah. Woo! That'll wake you up. Oh. Yeah. All righty then. <clears throat> Let's get rolling. Miles Sanders was one they talked about. <clears throat> and both Miles Sanders and Devin Singletary, believe it or not, were two running backs they said could have been landed in better teams. That They both landed on spots that didn't really provide them the opportunity. Although, they pointed out that the Buffalo Bills running backs... There are three ahead of De Devin Singletary. And all three of them combine for an age of over a century. They are over 100 years old combined. So, Devin Singletary could be the young guy that has to step in. Antoine Wesley, I believe, is for the Ravens. Uh, the one, the one I, I can't, honestly, they were two I've never listened to before. I downloaded a bunch. I'll have to look them up, JR. Message me, and, um, I'll, I'll let you know what they're called. I can, I can even send you a screenshot of the ones that I listened to. 
There are, these are some smaller ones that I found because I like the bigger ones. I like the produced ones that are produced really well, put together. You know, like I don't listen to the Matthew Barry ESPN one anymore just simply because I, I can't stand that guy. Um, I think I listened to him for too many years, and I don't think their news is good. I don't think they provide any quality. It seems like the smaller you get, there's a 17 out of 30, 30th anniversary, Khalil Mack. It seems like the smaller you get into the podcast, the better news that some of them have, and the more in depth. Um, the one was called Big Dogs Gotta Eat, I think. B D G E is what it's called. Um, if I remember correctly. But yeah, they were saying how um, the running back for the Eagles, who am I thinking of? Whoever we just pulled there, and Devin Singletary. Like, these are guys that could have landed at a better spot with teams that absolutely do need running backs. I think we have a vet auto coming, too. And just don't – haven't – didn't land in the right spot. They're not going to get a chance. Miles Sanders. They said, so unless – um, oh, who was it? Who got moved from the Bears? Jordan Howard's on the Eagles now. So unless Jordan Howard gets hurt, you're not going to see any time pretty much from Miles Sanders. Sanders is what they're kind of predicting. Kelvin Harmon, and it's going to be a Robbie Anderson. He was one they were talking about buy low right now. I mean, his stock is climbing. People like him. What they didn't like about Robbie Anderson is that now that um, – who's the Jets coach now that came from Miami? Is it Geist? Didn't he go to the Jets? And it's just – it's been a mess. He, they don't like the fact that he's out there and that, they're you know, Darnold's a young guy. So there was that. Man, I listened to so many good takes on the, the NFL today. It was really cool. I, that's what I did while I was on the roof, trying not to let my knees buckle. Dude, because I'm already, like, off balance because of the ears and the throat. And then I'm standing on the roof trying to paint. So I threw that on to distract me. So on a note outside of football, but directed towards football cards. Sorry, this box took way too long. I'm kind of getting back into it. Um, a leech checklist looks fantastic. It's got a ton of vets in it. It also has a um, it also has a Joe Montana, Patrick Mahomes autograph. Tons of great vets in it, man. I'll I'll post the checklist later. You got to check it out though. The uh, the, lit, the 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 autograph list on it is amazing. Now again, it's. That's why I was kind of surprised they didn't get more because it's not a short print product. A lot of the cards are numbered, although maybe that's the same with these. But they're, they're numbered to like not the hits, but like they're numbered to six ninety nine or whatever. Um, Andre Reed, Kyle Rudolph. Sorry if you guys, I'm taking longer than normal. I'm just trying to enjoy the break because had a couple days off. I don't want to fly through it. Joe Montana, there's a uh, Roger Craig at a 165. So, but the auto, the autos are really short print as far as the um, the vet autos, and then the pen pals are too. I would imagine Josh that he is if he's with Patrick Mahomes. I would imagine it is in a Kansas City uniform. So that's kind of different, and I know you're not going to love that as a Niners fan. But I think as a card, it makes sense, you know, have him and Mahomes together on it. Now, there could be Montanas in it that are in his San Fran. They do that on occasion. You see that a lot with Peyton Manning. Um, so he could have both. I haven't looked at them as far as the team breakdown a lot yet. I just really looked at it as... There's a Peyton out of 299, Ridley and Oliver. Someone they did like a lot was David Montgomery. You know, it's funny, they, they did not like Josh Jacobs as far as um I'm just thinking about more about the podcast here. As far as his the way Josh Jacobs and um Rob Gronkowski out of one hundred there. And um oh, who am I thinking of from the Bears? My brain's not working. Montgomery, David Montgomery. As much as they did not perform well as far as the tail of the tape goes, like their 40 times were slow, um, 
they said that they could serve their team really well in the role they have to play, but it might take a year or two for them to show up as far as the stat line goes. We're kind of in a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately kind of lifestyle in the NFL, so we don't like to look ahead too much. You know, We'll wait to buy their rookie cards when they're hot and overspend on them. But Josh Jacobs and um, Montgomery could be big. I actually, I'm in the middle of a draft right now. It's an email draft, so it's 24 hours per pick. And um, not an email draft, but it's a slow draft. And I actually wanted Aaron Jones really bad, but T.Y. Hilton was sitting there. So what do you guys think of the Colts this year? Tell me, you guys think the Colts are going to be the real deal this year? Was T.Y. Hilton a good choice over Aaron Jones? I had already used my first round pick on. Um, I had already used my first round pick on a running back. Miles Gaskin going to go to the Miami Dolphins. Um, Melvin Gordon. Now, you have to understand, this is there's already every team got to keep a certain level of keepers. Some some teams kept two, some te teams kept five. It all depended on where you finished, and then you had a salary limit. Every round, the players are based different based on the round they're selected in. It's a really weird league. Uh, I love it. It's really cool, but it's, there, it's too hard to explain if you're not in it. So Melvin Gordon was kind of a steal when I got him at pick four in the first round. But I had my mind set on Aaron Jones. Barrel out of 100, and ended up taking um, Nikhil Harry and Butler, Hakeem, Hakeem Butler. Hey, there he is. Yeah, if Brady likes Nikhil, that could be crazy, man. And they don't really have. I mean, who else do they have out there? Obviously the MVP of the Super Bowl, but one of these got to be a hit. Barrel. Up here comes our hit. Terry McLaurin, Andy Dalton, Sam Darnold. Philip Lindsay, vet hit. Otto kind of got off the sticker a little bit. But there we go for the Denver Broncos going out to Chris Voke. Philip Lindsay. Man, are you, what do you guys think? Can he be the real deal? At this time, last year, we weren't even looking at him as a name. Like, we were trying to grab the, the rookie. Um, not Ronald Jones. He's the Bucks. You'll have to forgive me. My brain is just mush. Too many medicines. Out of 10, 8 out of 10, Larry Fitzgerald. Here's what they were saying for Dynasty League. Get Christian Kirk as much as you can. They said, Murray played with Kirk. They said, grab as much Christian Kirk. They said, Fitzgerald's going to be done after this year. 8 out of 10, that's a nice card. Going to the Arizona Cardinals, John. All right, let's get some autos going here. Let's get into some leaf. You guys ready? Let's do this leaf metal. Man, I took that shot and I'm like soaked in sweat. I, I was cold before that. That's crazy. That's why I had a sweatshirt on and stuff. My body temp's been fluctuating like a woman on, in menopause, man. It's been awful. Getting like heat flashes and oh, it's been awful. I'm ready to be done with this garbage. Thanks again, guys, for filling this up. Sorry I'm not my normal happy-go-lucky self. Here's a guy I'm interested to see. First one up. 
Riley Ridley. That's going to be 18 out of 20 for the Chicago Bears. John getting it. 18 out of 20. Riley Ridley. These are on-card autos. For the Cincinnati Bengals. Floyd. Going to have a nice pile of cards sitting for when he comes home. Ryan Finley. He could be the, the uh, successor to uh, Andy Dalton. Man, they like E.J. Green a lot as a top five wide receiver. I don't see it with Dalton, though. For the Green Bay Packers, Jace Sternberger. Green Bay going out to Derek. Oh, I love Darkwing Duck, man. It was an awesome cartoon. Clayton Thorson, I believe, and that's four out of seven. Clayton Thorson is the Philadelphia Eagles, I believe, correct? I'm just going to confirm. Yep. Philadelphia Eagles, four out of seven. That's a cool car, that burst, orange burst there. So you got the one on one, too. Nice job. And Hollywood Brown for the Baltimore Ravens. Marquise Brown on card. It's a nice box of leaf. All right, let's do another one. I don't know what you heard about me. But if this can't get a dollar out of me, no Cadillac, no birds you can't see. Then I'm a motherfucking B.I. I do like this leaf flash a lot. But that, that leaf metal is pretty cool too. Valiant does come out soon and they have another product coming out as well. Come on, Tummy Sticks, come hang out with us. First card up for the Arizona Cardinals, Caleb Wilson. Base auto on card, Caleb Wilson for the Arizona Cardinals. Mac Wilson. I believe Mac Wilson is the Browns, but I'll have to double check. Mac Wilson. If it's the Browns, it's going out to Marcus. LJ Scott with a, a really nasty auto with the money symbol there. I think that's one of the cooler autos. I think Miami Dolphins. Am I correct? Ryan way up north. I'll double check on that one. For the Denver Broncos, Brett Ripien, that's going to be 43 out of 50. Denver Broncos going out to another one, the Chris Voke. Going from the uh, Boise Broncos to the Denver Broncos. And for the Carolina Panthers, 6 out of 20. Going out to Rick Roberts. How about a Will Greer? That's a nice one right there. Make it nasty, make it nasty, drop, drop it on the bitch, make it nasty, make it nasty, make it nasty, yeah, he does. Pop, pop it on the bitch, make it nasty. You're right, Kelly. I haven't seen many of his autos, but now that you say that, I do recall him having something very much like that. That Will Greer saved that box of Leaf Flash. It's a nice, we pulled the green out of Luminance of Will Greer. That's probably one of the nicer pulls we've had out of 2019 so far. Um, you know, we've had a couple of really nice ones, but... Wait, still waiting on that big, big banger. I mean, a Patrick Mahomes out of 25 from Luminance is really nice. Here we go, get some contenders draft. We've had some actually really nice stuff. Thinking even back to this. Oh, see, I couldn't remember where the autos were. Nazir Adderley, second auto he's had this break. LA Chargers going out to Jared. Nazir Adderley. From the Delaware Blue Hens. Anybody know anything about that Rodney Anderson from Cincinnati? Is he like an okay running back? We got Bryce Love, Marquise Brown, Haskins, Josh Allen, Eckler, Moore, Michelle, Elway, Luck, Chubb, Geis, Darnold, Alvin Kamara, Le'Veon Bell, and 
Karan Higdon for the Houston Texans. Going out to Christopher. So, in that draft I'm in that I was telling you about, and now it is a PPR league, um, both players go on the same price in the, the first round. Le'Veon Bell went right before Melvin Gordon. Who do you guys like more this year, Melvin Gordon or Le'Veon Bell? What's the story with tummy sticks? I'll tell you another time, man. It's, it's about a bug in the room, and we named it. It was a long night that night. That was back when we just hung out on camera and just talked and stuff. Josh Oliver. I'm going to have to check where he was at. Josh Oliver, though, from the San Jose Spartans. I will tell you, the next time I do tummy sticks and you're in, ask me again. That's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Rulo, you remember that night? That was a fun night. I do remember. That was one of my favorite nights. Oh, man. You like Le'Veon more, Bryce? Man, that's crazy. A.J. Brown, Will Greer. Gallup, Johnson, Grange, Watt, Green. And there's a Slayton. Slayton, I believe, is the Giants, but I'm going to confirm that. There is Slayton. They were good nights, man. We'll be able to have more of those late nights if you guys are able to. Tyler Murray. Trace McSorley. So we have one for Le'Veon and one for um, Melvin. That's going to be an on-card David Montgomery. Yeah, I would say that's true too, but also Le'Veon Bell is a head case. So. Chicago Bears going out to John. That's a nice card. On-card David Montgomery. That is not the sticker. Mike Weber. And it's going to be a Chauncey Gardner-Johnson as the final auto in that box. Now, we still have two boxes left, including our first off the line. So, we'll finish up with Luminance here. Who, Le'Veon is on the drug protocol list? Why? Because he's a rapper? I'm just kidding. Why is he on the drug protocol list? Because he was out for a year? <clears throat> I'm like sweating so bad. Marquise Brown, Clayton Thorson, DeAndre Baker, Devin Singletary, Larry Fitzgerald, Todd Gurley, Joey Bosa. There's a Brian Burns at a 99. Corey Davis at a 275. And Marcus Mariota, Swatch. Um, back in the day, him and someone else, who was it that was running back with the Steelers at the time? They got pulled over, and apparently Le'Veon wasn't smoking or hadn't been smoking, but they both got in trouble for it. I think Le'Veon got a four-game suspension, if I remember correctly, or maybe just a two-game. Uh, no Bills or Steelers yet, I don't think, Todd. Deshaun Watson. Stafford. 
out of 49, Kenny Galladay. And for the Jags, Gardner Minshew, that's out of 40 or out of 99. Jaguar is having a decent break. I think that's their third hit. A team you don't see hit too often. And a Galladay out of 49. Who was it that he was in trouble with? That they got pulled over together. Do you remember? Garrett Blunt is who it was. It was like Garrett Blunt and Le'Veon Bell got pulled over with like drugs in the car. And I think they dropped. They got rid of Le Garrett Blunt, and that's when Le Garrett Blunt went to New England. Travion Mullen, the 279, and a guy that they love today, and another one out of 99, Benny Snell Jr. They said that if James Conner can't perform, he should be the next one up. Because they said that, uh, what's his name, Samuels or whatever, doesn't have what it takes. Where this guy's a much better athlete. I don't know enough about it. I'm just going off of what the podcast said. Maybe there's some Steelers fans in here who can help. We're going to have a draft day auto. Damian Harris. They were smoking blunts. That's why I remembered. I remembered all those jokes. Aaron Jones out of 275. And it's going to be for the Minnesota Vikings. A very fat auto. Herb Smith Jr. Minnesota Vikings. That's going to be Corey Kelly. There you go, Corey. You got one there. Good one. Draft Day Auto. Nice fatty, too. He used a thick marker. That's a cool auto. Herb Smith Jr. All right. It is that time. Let's get that first off the line of lead up here. First off the line, I guess there's specifically gold autos in here for the first off the line. And I'd love to see how they like package this and know they're putting the first off the line stuff. Here, we'll do this kind of thing. Back it up a little bit and we'll pull them out one pack at a time. Here we go. I mean, I love Elite. They made a more, like, cr I saw this earlier, more of a chrome feel to them all the way around the card. Melvin Gordon, Harrison Smith. I do not like their, this is four out of eight. This must be one of the um, first off the lines because I think they said first off the line is to eight. Darrell Henderson, rookie running back for the Rams. Le'Veon Bell, Cam Newton, and the new kid reporter cards. Of the year so that's four out of eight going out to the la rams rick roberts getting it but i do not like these are like the old elite not my favorite version like insert in the set i like the card as a whole like the card the base cards look nice remember these are the first ones now that will not the, the rookies are in their pro uniforms not on those rookie cards though james connor chris carson there's a dak prescott it's embossed, but not numbered. Amari Cooper and Larry Fitzgerald. Got Tom Brady, Derek Carr. All right, so here's another one. This one's a status. 18 out of 22, die cut Derek Henry. Sonny Michelle and Michael Thomas. 18 out of 22, Derek Henry status card, die cut. You guys know I love die cuts. Pretty cool. Again, I don't like the uh, bland background. Kirk Cousins, Drew Brees, Tevin Coleman, Miles Garrett, and... Matty Ice out of 299. I, I do like the parallels in this set. The uh, out of 49, I think it is, like the gold checkerboard. This is probably going to be our 
memorabilia card, I would say. Nope, maybe a filler. Just a filler. Jameis Winston. Spellbound Baker Mayfield. This is going to be at a 299. The D in Mayfield. Zeke. Juju and Aaron Jones. I saw someone sold the Rodgers set of this from last year for like $30, which I thought was pretty cool. It wouldn't be too difficult to put those together. But I'm straight. All right, here we go. We're going to get one of our hits here. Carson Wentz, Jamal Adams, Terrell Suggs, Ben Roethlisberger, and a guy we have not seen yet, Yuan Winfrey. It's not one of our hits. He is not in his pro uniform either yet, which is interesting. So, out of six ninety nine too, a guy, but he it does have his Broncos symbol on the back of it now. So maybe a guy who got signed is gonna, you know, that'll be his first. And that's kind of what happened with Philip Lindsay last year. We saw him in some sets, but not many others. Here's our pen pals coming: Julio Jones, Tremaine Edmonds, Darius Slay, Leighton Vander Esch, and it is gonna be the turn of the century. San Francisco 49ers, Nick Bosa, 15 out of 25. That, my friends, is a banger. There we go. Turn of the century. That is a first off the line exclusive. I believe, I think, the gold in here are only the first off the line. Nick Bosa. Very nice card. Hey, Brad, what's up, man? There you go. I've heard a lot of people say they don't like that they had him use, um, I hate brace for the next five. I was waiting to see what you said, Josh. I didn't want to say anything. Um, a lot of people say they don't like the gold on the gold. It looks better in person, but I do get why. I don't get why they would use gold. Like, use silver on the gold or something, or black. It is, you know, you can only see it at certain angles. Like, if you go there with a shade, you can hardly see it. But it is a nice card. 18 at, or 15 out of 25 on that. Very nice. Still two more hits to find in here. Brad, how you been, man? Andrew Luck, Leonard Fournette, Eli Manning, Matt Ryan, and out of 699, uh, Marquise Blair. So that's a rookie card in his pro uniform. Kind of. Jarvis Landry, Von Miller, Biscuit, Alshon Jeffrey, and at a two ninety nine, Aaron Donald. Oh yeah? Giddy up, young man. You get in that biker gang. Jared Goff, Nick Chubb, filler card. Kiko, Stafford. Here's a Quinn and Williams. Not numbered. This is like what they did the Aces last year. Rookie on deck. It does look like a playing card on the back, though. It's like they, last year the front looked like a playing card. This year the back does. Kind of a cool card. David Johnson, Sam Darnold, TJ Hawkinson. Man, that sure looks like it should be numbered. Rookie Elitist. These are so embossed. 
Josh Norman and Mark Ingram. I just don't understand how this is the first one in their rookie uniforms, and so many of the cards don't have them in their rookie uniform or in their pro uniforms. Philip Lindsay, Derek Henry, AJ Boye, Philip Lindsay, Dak Prescott, and Ed Oliver for the Buffalo Bills. That Williams is a cool card, right? Closest I'll ever get to a motorcycle club, Brad, is when I watch Sons of Anarchy. Marcus Mariota. We got some sort of card here, really thick. Russell Wilson, Bobby Wagner. And how about a Calvin Johnson out of 299? This is game used, throwback threads. I do like that they're using game used stuff there. So here we go. Calvin Johnson. Haven't seen his name in a while. Detroit Lions, Jeremy Rolando getting a game used Calvin Johnson jersey. There you go, Jay. For the Lions. Not a bad box of Elite so far with the Bosa. We got one more auto to go. Should be a Pen Pals auto, too. Roquan Smith, AJ Green, T.Y. Hilton. We got the Sammy Watkins, and there's another Nick Bosa out of 99. There he is in his pro uniform. Nick Bosa out of 99. going to be a filler card because we already got our hit. Bosa, Rogers, geez, Louise, another Nick Bosa. This one being on the um, the playing card kind of style of card. Rookie on deck. Has a Niner symbol, but it still has him in his OSU uniform. Trick, I don't know yet. Tomorrow for sure. I just don't know what we're doing yet as far as are we doing cases or half cases because I didn't get near as much as I thought I was going to get. So I'm trying to decide here. Dawson Knox. I'm a Bills fan, and I don't know who this is. Although Brad's in the room, so he'll say you never know who Bills players are. If I do full cases, it's only one full case. Then we're going half after that. Or I'll be out by the weekend. Michael Vick for the Falcons. Playmakers. Calvin Ridley. Kenyon Drake. Dude, did they not give us a pen pal auto? Did we get our auto? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's another pack in here. Oh, thank God. They better be in there. Holy shit. Patrick Mahomes. There's another uh, Mayfield D. This one's gonna be numbered 1 of 10. 1 of 10 for the Baker Mayfield Spellbound. And now I'm getting nervous. That better be in there. The auto. This is out of 10, Baker Mayfield. Man, where's my marker at? I'm going to mark that then. So, who got the Browns? Marcus, that is a nice one there. That one out of 10. All right, so, our, oh, there's two more packs in here. Good. Robert Woods, Luke Keekley. Out of 96, one out of 96 is a number. There's Farrell and his Raiders Uni. Mixon and Mayfield. So this better be our, our pen pal. Yeah, Shrek, it, it really was. And no one understands why it got so shorted. It was really shorted. Like, big time shorted. Like, I got a lot more than I expected of Luminance at the end. And then I got, yeah, here's our pen pal. And a lot less of elite than I expected. I expected to get more elite than luminance. Fletcher Cox, Aaron Donald, and it's going to be for the Dallas Cowboys. We have not seen a ton of theirs. Michael Vianz. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right, but how about a Tony Pollard on card pen pals? Now there's one of those per box. That's the cool thing about elite. You're getting one on card rookie auto. 
pen pals. There we go. All right, I'll do a little recap here. Let me clean this up. Empty box. Trick, so you talked to people that said they got less than expected? Yeah, I thought it was just... I thought it was just me at first, but it sounds like it was the way it worked for everyone. Some people only got boxes. Farrell out of 96. Baker Mayfield out of 10. Bosa out of 99. Derrick Henry out of 22. Darrell Henderson out of 8. Kenny Galladay out of 49. A Fitzgerald out of 10. Khalil Mack out of 30. And a Calvin Harmon out of 50. Some good low print stuff there. Then we got Tony Pollard, Pen Pals for the Cowboys. Game Use, Calvin Johnson, Threads. On Card, Irv Smith. Benny Snell out of 99 for the Steelers. Gardner Minshew for the Jags out of 99. Mariota. Chauncey Gardner Johnson. On Card, David Montgomery for the Bears. Darius Slayton. Josh Oliver. Karan Higdon. And then Azir Adderley. We got a Will Greer for the Panthers. This one's numbered out of 20. A Brett Ripon for the Broncos out of 50. LJ Scott from Miami, I believe. Mac Wilson and Caleb Wilson. Mac for the Browns, Caleb for the Cardinals. Marquise Brown for the Ravens. Clayton Thorson, this one, four out of seven. For the Green Bay Packers, Jay Sternberger. And for the Bengals, Ryan Finley. Riley Ridley, this one numbered out of 20 for the Bears. So a Ridley and a Montgomery, both on card. Nice for the Bears. Philip Lindsay for the Broncos. Miles Gaskin for the Dolphins, not numbered. We got a Robbie Anderson, a 101 plate Jordan Hicks, Antoine Wesley, Nazir Adderley, and this really nice Jarrett Stidham out of 35 artist proof. And then to cap it all off, how about this Nick Bosa out of 25? This is the first off the line exclusive. 15 out of 25. Turn of the century. Pretty interesting. All right, guys. I am going to roll out. I about need a nap after that. <sighs> Maybe we'll do some divisions or something later. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for filling that. Um, that was fun to get back to. Do look out for uh, pre-sell for um, Elite tomorrow for sure. Um, it breaks on Wednesday morning with us. We'll break it early in the morning, all right? Till then, stay healthy. Peace.